Hello everybody, welcome back. This is experiment two. We have our testing model here. I mean this is based on the findings but basically from uh, parts one, two and three from experiment one. So in this uh, bottle, litre bottle, we have half a carrot, two grapes, sorry three grapes and two tomatoes. One tomato uh, has got the a bit of the leaves on, the other tomato hasn't. A bit of the stalk I suppose. This one, our now familiar CO2 delivery system. Same vegetables in this one again with an airlock. Let's chop the carrot lengthways. We are a week in to this experiment and already there is some fungi on this tomato. We're going to see and continue to chart it and see uh, whether the CO2 is um, capable of um, preserving the food better than of um, non-CO2 and just seeing what, what effects it has, obviously taking a lot of the, uh, the oxygen out of the uh, the bottle I think should preserve a bit better, but we'll see. Okay, welcome back, this is Nigel and uh, we are on day 16 and I'm calling a halt to this particular experiment now because um, although this one here is particularly mouldy, especially the carrot, um, Two weeks into the experiment, this looked fine, but now it looks like it's got some white residue on it, on our uh, CO2 experiment. So I'm going to empty both, and we'll examine the contents one at a time. Okay. Okay, so this has come out of the bottle without the CO2 in it. The middle of the carrot looks like it's edible. I'm not going to eat that bit. And I've just tasted a little bit of that, didn't seem too bad. Tomato. Okay, not too bad. Still, we've got some mould on the outside here. Put me some mould there. Okay, so this is from our CO2 container. Although it's got some white things on it, it's not mould as such. It's easily scraped off. So the carrot, it's a lot fresher, the carrot. These are little white specks on the grapes. They'd be washable off, to be honest. Wrong with that. Again, we've got some white. Now, these tomatoes. This tomato doesn't seem right. That tomato's not right. Okay. That tomato as well had split. Okay, we won't do tomatoes. Grapes look okay. Okay. So, our conclusion at the moment has got to be that I would say, I mean, I would say that there was no white res residue in until um, just after 14 days, so two weeks. So, I think at the moment that if we submerse um, our vegetables in CO2 around two weeks, I would say it's going to keep it relatively fresh. Now I did notice, and I don't know if you can see this, but there is um, seems like quite a lot of moisture on this. If I take this as well, you can see this. There is a bit of moisture in there, certainly around the bottom. If I can, if I can get this any better for you, uh, there. 
Right, you can see the moisture's built up in there. Now it might be due to the tomatoes, it might be due to other reasons, it might be due to the CO2 being coming off of the, the, uh, the alcohol that's uh, coming off of the demijohn might uh, be a little bit moist. As you can see in our standard one there's, there's no water in that so I'm going to need to see if I can work out a way of draining the moisture off or producing less moisture from the CO2 because I think as a, a food storage idea that uh, just creating a, a like a, a fridge area that just has CO2 in it um, rather than coldness I think uh, or coolant would go very well into a sort of like preserving food in a more environmentally friendly way than using a fridge.